This is the Negotiator. It's a 3D printed open source coffee tool that's uniquely useful when it comes to brewing on flat bottom options like the Oreo V3. And if you're a regular viewer, you may remember not all that long ago, I did a video talking about the Oreo V3 and why it's my go-to dripper. So of course, I'll do a quick and dirty refresher on those reasons, but if you remember it, you don't really care, you just want to skip ahead to what this is and the purpose of it, or even just how it actually works when it comes to brewing, you can skip ahead to different chapters that I'll put down below. But for those who are interested or curious to know why I choose the, the Oreo V3 when I'm reaching for a pour over dripper, I'll tell you why. And firstly, that's consistency. And consistency in coffee is the golden standard. And because this thing is able to produce repeatable quality, no fuss cups over and over again, I think it's probably the most consistent brewer I've ever used. Next up, it'd be flow rate, which I think is part and parcel with its consistency, but also gives you a wider usable grind size range with a slim to no chance of ever choking during the drawdown. And finally, thermal stability, which I think is more or less self-explanatory, but because the Aurea itself is made from a low conductivity plastic called Trogamid, it doesn't pull a lot of heat from the coffee slurry. Now, when you combine all these factors into one dripper, you get a couple different things. One of those is high extractions, and in my mind, I define those as 20% and above, but also you get faster brew times, and I say that averages around about two minutes. And when all of that meets the negotiator, it provides a whole new level of brewing capability and consistency. But by now you probably are still remembering looking at this thing in the beginning and thinking, what the hell is this? Well, don't let its serious name fool you. It's actually an incredibly simple and easy to use tool, and it helps you get more performance out of your dripper. And it does that by helping you make low bypass filters. Now bypass is a very common thing. It's something that occurs in a lot of different filter coffee methods. And it's essentially when brew water slips past the slurry of grinds and doesn't actually pull any flavor from the coffee itself. And this can happen in a lot of different ways. Condensation can add to it, or even pouring too close to or onto the filter as well. But in most filter brewing methods, bypass can be reduced or minimized, and that is where the negotiator comes into play. This is essentially just a mold. It helps you fold and iron out flat Aurea filters, standard V60 cone shape filters, as well as trapezoid filters from drippers like the Clever. Doing this creates a filter surface that sits flush with the sides of the dripper, and this in turn reduces bypass and increases both extraction and consistency. So this alone has increased my averages from 22 to 24 percent, and even with a different recipe and filter, I've seen as high as 27 percent, which I think just goes to show that the bypass rate on the Aurea with pleated filters can really have a significant effect on the final cup. But I think that's enough of an introduction and explanation, so now I want to show you how to negotiate some filters and brew some coffee. To start, let's begin with the Aurea papers, and make sure you figure out which is the smooth side and which is the rough side. The smooth side is the one you want to be in contact with your coffee. From there, begin to fold. I prefer to do two creases in the same direction. This gives me kind of a bullseye center point, a smoother finished product, and it makes the final folds easier. Next, lay the filter centered on the negotiator, and begin by choosing a crease to fold against the side of the tool. This doesn't seem to matter, but I prefer to go all in the same direction. Once they're set, place into the dripper and give it a slight press to smooth out any wrinkles before rinsing. Next up, the pre-creased filters from Cyberist. Now the folding process on this is exactly the same as before. Find the center, pick a direction, fold, and repeat. When that's done, place it into the dripper for a little ironing out before rinsing. The classic V60 or cone filters can also be negotiated. Just fold the side crease, then the tip. Open up the filter, place into the dripper, and give it a press with the negotiator. Again, smooth out the folds and rinse. Lastly, a trapezoid filter. Just fold the base, place into the filter, press with the negotiator to smooth out the folds, and rinse. Now when it comes to brewing on negotiated filters, there is one main difference to be aware of, and that is brew times. They will become slightly longer in some cases, and significantly in others. And that's because there's just a lack of circulating airflow on the sides that occur with pleated filters. And for those who want a little extra help or a little extra push in getting these filters working for them, Aurea also gives you this handy little brew guide with their filters that gives you some ideas for actual brew recipes that sort of, as they say, mimic traditional wave filters in terms of ratio and flavor profiles. And honestly, you can use the same recipes from the wave filters and still get solid results. 
For example, my own Oreo recipe from the last video can still create really nice cups of coffee in just short of three minutes with most negotiated filters. The recipe itself uses 15 grams of coffee on a medium grind. It starts with a quick 40 gram bloom in roughly 10 to 15 seconds, and then a swirl while you wait for about the 30 second mark. From there, it's just two simple 100 gram pours, each lasting about 30 to 45 seconds. But between each pour, you should allow the water level in the dripper to drain close to the bed. On the second and final 100 gram pour, give it a quick swirl as it draws down, and that should get you to a proper cup of coffee. For me, that recipe has been a great all-around option for most coffees. For instance, when you use it on a washed coffee, I usually grind it at medium, which brings out a bit more brightness and clarity. And if you're using honeys, anaerobics, naturals, I usually go closer to medium fine, which brings out more of that body sweetness and general kind of funky nuance. But if you're out there negotiating filters, my guess is you want to try something a bit more unique. And the wide option or the wide ratio option from Aurea is actually pretty interesting and it's something that you can't really do on a wave filter. To start, it uses a smaller dose. So grind 10 grams of coffee just a few notches coarser than espresso. The brew water should also be very hot, around 210 degrees Fahrenheit. Then bloom the coffee with 50 grams of water, and as usual, ensure that the entire bed is fully saturated, then give the dripper four smooth swirls. And this entire process should take about one to one and a half minutes. Then pour 75 grams of water, splitting the pour for the first half being a circular motion and the second into the center and focus on keeping things controlled and minimizing agitation. Then again at three minutes, complete the same pour process from before using 75 grams in a circular and then center pour. The entire drawdown and process should take you around four and a half to five minutes. In the end, I think the negotiator is a great tool for those looking to explore brewing on a flat bottom dripper. And as it stands, it of course works the best for the Oreo V2 and V3, which makes sense because that's what it's designed for. But it's also capable of working with the fellow Stag and Kalita 155. I also really like the fact that they made it open source. With the wide availability or growing availability of 3D printers, it sort of feels like a rising tide rises all ships sort of moment. And that's nice. I like that in coffee. I think there's just too many paywalls in coffee and basically everything else. But with all that said, I think it's time I wrap this one up and as usual, pass the conversation on to you. What are your thoughts on the negotiator? Do you think it's useful? Do you think it's cool? Do you think it's nice to have a 3D printable option for anybody out there? Also, if you have one, do you have any tips or tricks you'd like to share with the class? Drop your answers to those questions and any others you may have in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Check out my Instagram, at Spromethius, for content throughout the week. My blog at Spromethius.com. And as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.